I'm gonna talk about retaining wall basics here real quick. This is the wall we built in our how to install retaining walls training course. And we got a few different examples of things going on here uh, in this project. Uh, it's had a season to mature in. So what we've got uh, drainage is the number one thing with retaining walls for their uh, strength and stability over the long term. Uh, we've got all the sheet drainage coming down this hillside. We've got a swale cut in behind the wall. All things draining to that swale from behind the wall itself and from the slope above. Anytime you can, you can add slope. Uh, you can cut in keyways or cut in drain um, swales up, you know, up slope even to help de defer or deter more water from coming down the hill. That's all the better. Uh, you always want to have a, a row of block minimum, six inches of block embedded below. So there is, believe it or not, in here there's a row of block below that one right here embedded in and what that does that helps per, uh, prevent or just prevents the wall potentially pushing and sliding out because imagine if this was the only block there's all these lateral pressures you know the wall might try to kick out like that at the bottom and that would be bad so that lower uh, buried portion of the wall helps it keep from kicking out also keeps it more stable and secure uh, also would help keep uh, your subsoil or your, uh, your base material from being exposed to erosion and uh, other elements that might uh, wear it away Behind this is a minimum of a 12 inch clean stone filled in behind it so water doesn't sit back here. We did this uh, edge here as an example of what happens if you don't build a return wall into the hillside. You've got to have some insane slope of uh, soil right behind it. It makes it challenging uh, to do that. So then we, if that's the case, we ideally want to do a return slope like a return wall like this. And of course, the farther you go back into the hillside, the less crazy that slope's going to have to be. So things you want to take into consideration. Uh, capstones, you can always use different types of capstones. This is one that comes with it. Drainage behind the wall, one of the, one of the important things about that is sometimes you're forced to have a drain pipe come out above grade. Now, this one is sitting on entirely open graded stone, which is this type of stone right here. Don't mind the mess everywhere. It's this open, clean stone. And so that is uh, permeable. Water will go clear through that. And our base is that material. So we've got a drain clear below all this stuff. So the very lowest point is drained out and run away. If you're sitting on a dense graded base or whatever, you might have to have a drain at ground level. And sometimes the specs require it. So there's these uh, handsome uh, drain covers. I guess you have that notch and a piece of pipe coming out. There's these handsome drain covers coming through, uh, you know, showing up. So you might try... Uh, checking those out so that's a quick video on uh, retaining wall basics uh, geogrid is another thing depending on the height of the wall uh, they say any wall over four foot requires engineering this is a biaxial geogrid i mean it has strength in both directions this lays in the uh you know in the backfill every so many prescribed courses pending or per the uh, engineering itself. Usually a uniaxial is uh, adequate enough, but this, what this does is this ties this whole mass together, however far back in the hillside it goes, as one big cohesive unit. So uh, the Geogrid does incredible things. Some really cool videos out there on Geogrid. We'll do some stuff with that later. Um, the other thing is just watch your bond lines. You don't want your bonds to line up exactly. These are a little close here, but the general rule is one third of the block. You want to have that bond offset by minimum one third of the block. You can do 50 50 bond, uh, whatever, but you want those lines to offset as best uh, you can, but always offset no matter what. So um, that's the quick stuff on uh, retaining walls and retaining wall basics.